Simply put, Los Angeles Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald, well, he's a beast. On the gridiron, the five-time All-Pro is an unblockable force on the defensive line and has spent his time in the league since coming out of Pitt, putting himself in his own stratosphere of defensive players. He's been named first-team All-Pro five times out of the last six seasons and is well on his way in his sixth and seventh seasons in the NFL. But let me ask you, what makes Aaron Donald Aaron Donald? Today we're going to take a look at the diet and workout routine of this 280-pound monster and see what we can find. But before we jump into all that, do me a favor and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. All done? Let's rock! NFL athletes come equipped with serious appetites to fuel all of those workouts and practice reps that it takes to get them on the football field. And not just get them on that grass come Sunday, keep them healthy while on it. If you're Aaron Donald, that fuel comes in the form of a ridiculous diet that requires him to eat a lot more than us normal human beings. According to Rams head team dietitian Joey Blake, if Donald did nothing all day in order to maintain his size, he would need to consume 2,817 calories. But because Donald is large and extremely elite as an athlete, Donald consumes somewhere in the ballpark of 5,000 calories on a high volume day. His body maintenance calorie intake settles in around 3,600 calories. The average calorie intake for women is around 2,000 and for men, it's about 2,500. But if there's anything we know about Aaron, it's that he is far from average sized anything. The crazy thing about Aaron's diet is that the majority of those calories are more fat than protein to give his body the necessary recovery he needs to be out there every Sunday. In those 500 calories, Donald must maintain as healthy a regimen as possible that fits his 280-pound bulky frame. For Donald, that means somewhere around 245 grams of protein, 616 grams of carbs, and 164 grams of fat. Could you imagine having a dietitian and them telling you to just let loose like this come mealtime? To give you an idea of what this looks like, 245 grams of protein equals about 6 cups of chicken, 12 Jamba Juice smoothies with protein, or 30 glasses of milk. You heard all that correctly. And to get Aaron's 616 grams of carbs, he would eat somewhere around 15 cups of pasta slash rice or 20 cups of popcorn. And to get the 164 grams of fat, that means Aaron's got to put down seven cups of avocado or 55 ounces of fish. For most of us, eating this kind of diet would mean putting on more than just a few pounds, and we don't mean the good kind either. Lucky for Aaron, he has a personal chef. Even luckier for Aaron, his personal chef also happens to be his personal trainer. So the five-time All-Pro isn't throwing anything down that he can't work out. While some athletes are going low carbs or switching to plant-based diets, the meals that keep this two-time Defensive Player of the Year on top of his game and the NFL Defensive Player hierarchy sound quite tasty. Aaron's two favorite dishes are breakfast tacos, basically a breakfast burrito without the tortilla and in a taco form. And dancing meatballs, which got their name because the first time the defensive tackle tried them, he literally got up and danced. Aaron doesn't get to do that dance as often as he'd like, though, because the meatballs, which are mainly turkey and ground beef with a bunch of different mouth-watering seasonings, are considered more of a cheat meal for Donald, as they come covered in marinara and an assortment of cheeses. But his trainer knows that in order to keep Aaron happy and performing well, he's got to let him deviate from the normal diet from time to time. It's not all about what Aaron's eating, but also how often and consistently he's eating it that makes the defensive tackle the force that he is. Between lifting weights, practice, recovery, and all of the other things that make professional athletes professional athletes, Donald doesn't have as much time as he'd like to meal prep. To give you an idea of how this can drastically affect performance, during the Super Bowl in 2019, Aaron Donald, who normally plays around 280 pounds and maintains that most of the year, dipped to 257 pounds around game time. Already considered an undersized defensive tackle, Donald was playing well below his normal playing weight, and it showed. Donald claimed that double teams became a lot heavier out there since he was a little lighter, and when you're 257, trying to play two guys who weigh 330 each, 
definitely takes a toll on you after a while. Knowing he needed some help, this is when Donald's trainer stepped in, and now, unfortunately for all the offensive linemen and quarterbacks lined up across from him, Donald took his diet and exercise to another level. But how does Aaron Donald turn all of these calories into the mound of muscle we see on the field on Sundays? Let's get something out of the way. Aaron Donald is a strong, strong man. When he pushes Lyman down with ease on the way to the quarterback and swings him around like a rag doll, it's not by accident. In a video posted this last summer, Aaron casually lifted 225 pounds 35 times. What makes that even more impressive is that he was talking with trainers towards the end of it and was hoping someone had the count because he wasn't keeping track. Before he slowed down, he looked more bored than fatigued. Bench press is one of Donald's strengths, and he claims to be able to max over 500 pounds. There's a video out there of him lifting 495, which backs this up. And honestly, with how easily he gets up to 495, we're guessing his max is not just an eyelash over 500 either. When it comes to strength, Donald doesn't stop at bench pressing. And to be honest, most of his workouts beyond the traditional squatting, benching, and curling is probably more impressive. Like Aaron's ab routine, where he does 300 reps doing an assortment of exercises that you'd figure a defensive tackle should not be able to do. Everything from Russian twists, bicycle crunches, toe crunches, reverse crunches, side planks with hip lifts, and leg lifts. He then rotates these different exercises until he reaches 300, with almost no rest in between. Other exercises you might catch Aaron using a weighted vest as he does an insane amount of bar dips and pull-ups, and using a large medicine ball, which he's able to throw farther than most of us mere mortals should be able to, right? He also does raised leg crunches to a medical ball toss at a speed that might make your abs hurt just watching. As big as Aaron is, he also puts an emphasis on his explosiveness. He doesn't just beat offensive linemen with his power. A lot of the time, Aaron is able to give them a quick move and blow right past them or set him up with his speed before clobbering them with his power. You've probably heard of his ridiculous fake knife training exercises that he implements to work on his hands and quickness, but what else does the league's best defensive player do to keep him at his peak? Some of his explosion exercises, like his strength exercises, are something to see to believe. The 280-pound Donald looks more like a defensive back or a linebacker than a D-tackle as he flows through cones, high steps, mini hurdles, and hops over larger hurdles before backpedaling and then exploding into a sprint. If the intensity he attacks his workout with is anything like how he treats offensive players on the football field, expect to see this man win a few more Defensive Player of the Year awards on his way to Canton. That's it for our look on the freak that is Aaron Donald and his monstrous appetite and superhuman-esque workouts. Let us know what you think of Donald's regimen by dropping us a comment down below. And hey, do you want more content like this? Let us know. If you haven't subscribed already, do me a favor. Click that button and stay informed on the latest and greatest from our channel. Until next time, sports fans.